What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Liverpool Wolves post-match analysis video and also Happy New Year if you are watching this in 2020. What a game this was, excuse the background, I'm at my girlfriend's house so I'm in her room so excuse the background, she is a big Barcelona fan, the Barcelona badge uh, at, in the background so you, you could guess the semi-finals in the Champions League last season were very very spicy, especially the second leg. So Liverpool Liverpool arrived here, top of the league, and we could go 13 points clear with a game in hand ahead of Leicester City who won against West Ham yesterday. And Wolves, I feel a little bit sorry for them because they just had 45 hours between their game against Man City and this game. So they made uh, 5 or 6 changes, uh, 5 of their first team players didn't play in this one. And Liverpool also looked a little bit tired, a little bit knackered, but Jurgen Klopp may went with a very ballsy team selection. He selected most of his first team players and in the first half it was all Liverpool. Liverpool really dominated Wolves. We had the majority of the possession, we created loads of chances and in the end Lalana with a shoulder pass set up Sadio Mane in the 42nd minute and Mane scored and the referee ruled it out for handball and I was absolutely fuming because the replays showed that it hit Lalana's shoulder and thank goodness for VAR. I know that many of you guys hate VAR and let me know in the comments below what do you actually think about VAR. D should it get absolutely just uh, removed totally from the Premier League? Should we improve the technology and keep VAR or should or VAR is fine as it is? Let me know what is your opinion. At the moment I'm for VAR but I want it to be, be refined, especially the offside goals. The technology is not ready yet to be as 100% ac accurate as something like goal line technology. We all accept and we all are happy about goal line technology because it's very clear cut and it has a 100% efficiency and a 100% like a uh, track record of being correct. On the other hand, these offside calls when they are measuring the hairs on the armpit or the hairs of Pookie's uh, beard uh, in the Norwich uh, Tottenham game yesterday. That's just absolutely ridiculous in my opinion that the, 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 the te technology is not there yet. It, we, we are in 2019 and we don't have uh, like enough high resolution video to properly assess whether uh, a goal is offside or not. And I feel a little bit sorry for Wolves uh, who celebrated like absolute madman the equalizer in the 48th minute of the first half stoppage time, Neto, who is just a 19 year old kid basically, scores his first ever Premier League goal. His first goal comes at Anfield against the Champions elect, the Premier League is so so incredible this season that Liverpool are 13 points clear, everybody is struggling apart from Liverpool. Liverpool 36 games unbeaten now. For the whole calendar year Liverpool went unbeaten at home. We are actually 50 games unbeaten in uh, home unbeaten games in the Premier League but also we are unbeaten at home in the whole calendar year and that has only happened four times before. And never before, never since 1990. 1990 was the last year where Liverpool went the whole calendar year unbeaten at home in all competitions. That's a ridiculous statistic. So Wolves celebrated that goal like crazy and then VAR finds that a boot was like a few millimeters ahead of uh, the Liverpool defender. And I'm not complaining about that. What my complaint is that the technology is not advanced enough. The picture where they judged that offside was so pixelated. It was just disgraceful, honestly. The Premier League is a multi-billion dollar industry. It's a business. It's a money-making machine. And yet they are showing us pixelated images when you have to judge an offside and also they had pixelated images when they were judging the, the um, offside and that's just unacceptable in my opinion until the frame rate is uh, as high as uh, I don't know like 100 frames per second or even like 60 frames per second should be enough in theory but at least it should be 100 frames per second so you can 
stop at the exact moment when the ball is kicked and when you zoom in the picture shouldn't be pixelated honestly like most games should be recorded in 4k uh, at every angle and i know that it probably is too expensive to put so many 4k cameras in but honestly the premier league if there is a league that has money to do this it's the premier league in my opinion so that's my take on var until the technology is ready I think they should uh, uh, like go with a different offside rule. The offside rule, as it is, you know, it can't be judged accurately in the VAR rooms. And I, I have an uneasy feeling when the referee calls something and it's not a clear and obvious error. And at the beginning of the season, we were told that the VAR will only interfere, interfere with the referee's decision and overrule it if it's a clear and obvious error and we are now in so so much muddy waters because it's anything but clear and obvious errors overruled by VAR it's marginal really really tight calls and they are still overruled by VAR so I think the whole law should be changed I think for the offside rule I want it changed so only the foot is judged to be offside I mean Timo Puki's goal was so so unfairly ruled out for offside last night because I think his arm was offside but he's, he's never going to score with his arm maybe his armpit was offside but honestly when was the last time you saw a Premier League or any footballer score with his armpit like that's just ridiculous maybe with his chest that's okay but not with his armpit and they are measuring the armpits to the defender's leg, I, this it's just, it doesn't feel right to me. I don't want to get too overly emotional because today, yes, uh, VAR favored Liverpool, but anybody who says it's Liverpool and that VAR is favoring Liverpool always, you are on an agenda, you are talking nonsense. The decisions have been 50-50% for and against Liverpool. There has been many decisions, especially Aston Villa, Firmino's goal, which I don't think it was offside. Again, the armpit maybe was offside, but that's just ridiculous. Firmino's goal was ruled out. Sadio Mane against Watford, I think, at Anfield, where he was ruled out uh, for offside. His goal uh, was ruled out for offside. Uh, and Liverpool sometimes get the decisions, sometimes don't but to suggest that VAR is helping Liverpool is absolutely ridiculous and I, I'm not I'm having none of that last season when we played Manchester City we were 13 millimeters away from taking the lead and potentially winning or drawing that game and potentially winning the title while being invincible, while being unbeaten. So 13 millimeters and goal line technology denied Liverpool an invincible title winning season last season, in my opinion. So I will take any like close call, close decision by a few millimeters that goes Liverpool's way. Because last season, a lot of fans, a lot of rival fans were really, especially Man City fans, were really rubbing it into Liverpool's um, fans' noses. They, they were rubbing it in, taunting us and ridiculing us that you will never win the Premier League title and th saying things like that. And after, waited, after we waited 30 years for it, well, I, I haven't waited 30 years, I've waited only 20 years. I've been supporting Liverpool since uh, 2001. And um, it's, just, uh, it's just too much. We waited so, so long for this Premier League title. And it looks like, at the moment, that Liverpool are on course to win it, but until it's mathematically over, I'm not going to celebrate the title. You will not hear me saying the league is done, it's not done, it's not over yet, anything can happen. Liverpool can still lose many games uh, because of injuries, because of freak VAR decisions. I mean, we have been on the wrong end of VAR decisions, but this team is relentless and it's a winning machine and Jurgen Klopp and every single player even the staff, the fans, everybody deserves huge credit because at the beginning of this decade Liverpool were a Europa League club. Sometimes we didn't even qualify for Europe. We finished in 8th place in the first season of Jurgen Klopp. I don't know 
if you guys remember, but Liverpool were actually a mid-table Premier League side for like half of this decade. We finished 6th, 7th, 8th, like in, in four or five seasons in a row, uh, uh, apart from the Luis Suarez season, we always finished outside the top five, actually. We finished the, never we finished higher than sixth place until Luis Suarez came in and that was only for one season and then we were back to uh, mid-table mediocrity. So Liverpool fans suffered a lot of hardship and of course, now we will celebrate every single win like uh, it's the most important because Liverpool fans waited so so long and we suffered so so much for the, to wait for this moment so I'm just loving it I'm enjoying every single moment of this season the controversy I think that it makes football even more interesting but it kind of ruins the moment when you celebrate a goal and then two minutes later they tell you the goal never happened, it's disallowed. And I feel a little bit sorry for Wolves because of that. They, the whole team celebrated like crazy because they thought they equalized the Tenfield and then VAR took it away. I think it kills the best part of football, which is the moment when a goal goes in and you go crazy. And I was going crazy when Rosario Mane scored. And then immediately I had to cool down because the referee said it's handball. And then VAR gave it and I celebrated again. So you get me, it's a different football to what we uh, fell in love with, what we grew up with. But uh, I still want VAR to stay in the Premier League, don't get me wrong. I just want the technology to be improved, the video footage where they are judging the offside calls, the need, uh, that needs to be higher resolution, I'm sorry. There needs to be somehow 4K or, or at least like 100 frames per second resolution, somehow make it happen, the Premier League. You have enough money to implement this technology at every ground, in my opinion. So yeah, let me know what you think about all of this that I talked about in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later. Good night.